Hi, my name is Stefan Wolf. I'm systems engineer for network and security at VMware. And today is with me. I, I'm Luciano Patrão. I'm a senior consultant here in ITQ. And today we are here to talk about HCX. So what is HCX? Well, HCX is a tool from VMware that allows you to migrate your workloads, workloads from uh, on-prem to the cloud or to a different, uh, to a different uh, infrastructure, even in physical or cloud, that's what the HCX do. So I will start you with some, okay, let's do a, a source. Source is like, it will be your vCenter and, and the destination. is AWS, is VMC, sorry, mm -hmm. on AWS. But also can also be uh, physical, VC, VCF, etc. So this is um, the door and destination from uh, HX. So first we will deploy here our HX manager, and also on a destination the same, our HCX manager, but will is, cloud, is called cloud. So here is a connector and the cloud. So then we have a side pairing between both sides. Meaning the source and the side can see the destination, the destination can see so this is a straight uh, connection between both uh, infrastructures. So now you have the first um, step done. Next, uh, we will have uh, interconnect. So interconnect is when you have uh, an interconnect will create a kind of tunnel between both for the migrations. So interconnect is when you have uh, your networking already done in, in the source, in destination, networking for bulk uh, migrations, for uh, uplinks, uh, vMotion, and management. So all is done on a, on a source side and in the destination side, and both will be connected from this network. So this is mm -hmm. the initial uh, design for the, your migration workloads. It sounds a little bit that, that HCX do a vMotion from one data center to another. So what's the difference between a normal vMotion that we know for years inside data center and now yeah. when we do it with HCX? Yeah, yeah. So there's some difference. For instance, uh, um, uh, vMotion can only is, has some restrictions regarding uh, the number of VMs you can vMotion. Depends on your infrastructure, of course, but there's some restrictions. And on HCX, you can have... 300 VMs on concurrent uh, migration. So for, for instance, you can have 300 VMs as bulk migration. It means that uh, 300 VMs can go from one side to another, and then it's, when they finish, the migration will start from, uh, from the source of destination when they finish. The, 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 the HCX will power off the VMs on the source side and power on on the, on the destination side. Also, a, a difference is uh, versioning. So here we can have like 6.5, 6.7 vSphere, and then you are migrating to 7 to 8. Mm -hmm. So this is a difference that we can have from legacy versions to the, to the new version. You can migrate in. Uh, also, <coughs> uh, this is basically the main uh, difference between both migrations. On a, then you can also do a normal vMotion, but uh, the most of all is the bull migrations is or cold migrations that is power off VMs that you can migrate also to the, to the destination. So it can be cloud or a, a different site. Okay, and um, when we see here now this vMotion from one data center to another, mm -hmm. often, maybe realized over internet, is there a way to, let us say, 
accelerate the, tra the, the transition from the VMs from one side to another because it's maybe run over a slow internet line? Yeah, yeah that's a, 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 also a, a feature that is included on EHX. That's called one. <coughs> so the, uh, the one uh, feature is um, when you have low bandwidth, between your uh, source and destination, uh, you use one optimization, and then all one optimization will do is deduple and compress the, the data, and then the data that we will be sent from from the from the interconnect will be smaller smaller packages than we have for, on a normal wheel motion if we're using a normal wheel motion between two sides. Okay. And so you said that we have with bulk migration 300 VMs at the same time mm -hmm. we can transfer from the source data center to the destination data center. Um, is this an online or no, will be no. they transferred they, 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 this, this feature is not online. Like I said, this is a replication. So mm -hmm. it needs to be, so there is always be a, like a reboot of the VM on the, on the destination. Uh, for a live migration, that is something called uh, RAV. Mm -hmm. So uh, we said replication station vMotion, and this is a live migration from the source to the destination, and then also you can also do 300 VMs at the same time from, from one side to another without any impact on the, on the application they're running live. So that means the user can always reach their VMs, their applications, yes. even in, when in, they are moving to the another data center. Yes, correct, yeah. In time. Okay, great. Um, so when, when we transfer the specific amount of VMs from the source to the destination data center, maybe we want to move back because uh, we are done with the work or whatever mm -hmm. um, on our source data center. Can we just easily move it back? Yes, yes. It's bidirectional. So you can go from source to destination, but also you can go back uh, from destination to source. Because let's say customer has uh, sent 100% of their infrastructure to the to the cloud and now want to send back 50%. So mm -hmm. they can always send back and then balance between. That's one of the use cases also for the HEX is the uh, workloads balance between sites. So HEX will be, you can choose that to send or divide the workloads between sites. Okay, and what are other use cases for HCX? I mean, if you can do, let us say, transferring or migrating VMs from one data center mm -hmm. to another, what are the typical use cases when, well, when we have points? Besides the ones that we already talked about, the, the normal migration and send the workloads to the cloud. Um, also rebalance workloads, like I said, also that's another, another one. Um, if you want to do a, a shift and lift, that's, that's this one, we can use that as a, this one. But let's say a customer has this 6.5 and 6.7 and with all hardware and then all that stuff uh, need to be they commission it and then they need to rebuild a new one. So the customer can send all this uh, infrastructure to the cloud, renew the, 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 the infrastructure, when everything is set, then send back to the, mm -hmm. the on-prem again and then just use this one. So this is another, another uh, uh, use case because using, uh, removing any legacy uh, mm -hmm. infrastructure that you have before. Also, this is th that one, the load balancing uh, from the workloads, sorry, the workloads between uh, sites. And uh, I think is most of the main is that one, so I think. So. Yeah, that's ab absolutely true. Evacuating data centers, rebalancing uh, their data centers, or the, the workloads across data centers. Uh, maybe disaster recovery sites, yeah, oh, okay. right? That one's also. Yeah. Uh, the, they have also the replication disaster recovery. So mm -hmm. you can also use as a DR. Mm -hmm. So HX will use will use as a pure DR uh, to replicate all the data that is inside of the source. We'll send to the destination, mm -hmm. and destination will be always be a DR if needed uh, so when they have a second site, a copy of the second site. So you can use HX to do this also. There's also a feature for that. Okay, cool. And um, may some customers have um, environments where they have maybe not based on vSphere, mm -hmm. then rather than from KVM or, yes, or yes, Hyper-V or yeah, whatever, yeah. Hypervisor. Yeah. Is they there can... a way to convert it? If yes, there's, it's just a, it's called AV, KVM, 
and also Hyper-V is also supported with a, a feature called OS SAM. So this is OS assistance uh, migration. So this one is also supported, but it works a little bit different with the, the design we see here. Even if we have a source that's uh, KVM or, or IPV, but uh, since this is not uh, VMware or vSphere uh, a tool, we need to install agent on each VM so that the uh, OS feature can start in doing this, this kind of migrations from, from the source to the, to the destination. Yeah, but it's supported, yes. Okay, so, but cool, the good, good thing is when we converted this, v, uh, this KVM or Hyper-V mm -hmm. virtual machines to a vSphere form factor VM, mm -hmm. then we can do all the magic that we see before with the live migration yes, and stuff so like that. Yes, uh, on the migration, on the migration is already converting the, 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 the VMs that are here because this is like a replication copy to the, to the destination. And then it, without, again, without the KPVM and Hyper-V, out of the, the picture, you can have also another uh, source site to do uh, VR or whatever. So you have a pure VM environment. So thank you okay. for this explanation. Yes, thank you. So thank you for watching us. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe our ITQ from YouTube channel. Thank you very much.